What is migration and why do people migrate? According to the International Organization for Migration, migration refers to the movement of a person or groups from one territory to another in search for temporary or permanent residence. Such movement can be considered involuntary or voluntary, long-term or short-term. This process has transpired throughout the history. People migrate for various reasons. These reasons may fall under these four categories such as political, environmental, cultural, and economic. Within these categories are what we call push and pull factors. Understanding the nature of migration will enlighten you as to whether it is beneficial for you or not. So stick around as we expand our discussion on migration. Michelle's Learning Meal, where bite-sized lessons and insights are served. Welcome back to your channel, 21st Century Learners. By the way, Ms. Michelle here, your TNCT mentor. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos. Please like and share as well. The issue of globalization is linked with migration and with the movement of capital and commodities. It can be said that migration is as old as human civilization and there's a clear proof that globalization is inextricably related to it. The growing demand of laborers of most capitalist countries precipitated the migration of many families from underprivileged communities. This goes with the hope of alleviating their economic condition and experiencing a good life financially and economically. According to estimates, 20% of the labor force in the Philippines want to leave the country and search for a job abroad. Unfortunately, some of them become victims of human trafficking and illegal recruitment. Now let's get to know the reasons of people migrating. They can be classified under four categories, political, environmental, cultural, and economic. Within these four categories are the so-called push and pull factors. The push factors are those that motivate people to leave their places because of difficulties such as war, food storage, blood, and among others, while the pull factors are those that attract them to their place of destination. To illustrate the push and pull factors in the four categories, let us consider the following examples. People can be politically motivated to migrate when they experience the push factors such as war, social unrest, or corruption. while they can also be politically motivated to migrate when they experience the pull factors such as political stability and obtaining good services from the government. Meanwhile, people can also be environmentally motivated to migrate when they experience the push factors such as the occurrence of natural calamities in the form of earthquakes, tsunamis, and typhoons. On the other hand, they can also be motivated to migrate of the pull factors such as good climate. Culturally, the push factors that can motivate people to migrate can be in the form of racial discrimination and bad educational system. And the pull factors can be in the form of 
equal respect for religion and the presence of family and friends. Under the economic category, the push factors can be unemployment and poverty. Well, the pull factors that motivate people to migrate can be good living condition and job opportunities. Now let's clarify the following terms, internal migration, external migration, immigration, and emigration. Internal migration. This refers to the movement of persons or groups to a new place within one country. For example, Filipino Muslims migrate to Visayas region to avoid the heavy militarization in the area. External migration is moving to a new residence in a different country, state, or continent. For example, Asians are migrating to Europe because of its good climate. That is, from continent to continent. It can also be from country to country. Example, Santos's family in the Philippines is moving to Brazil. Those are examples for external migration. Now we come to the tricky part. Let's differentiate between emigration and immigration. Emigration, this consists of persons or groups departing from one country in view of settling to another. Take note of the phrase, departing from. For example, suppose Maria's family in Mexico migrated to Canada. Then we can say, Maria's family emigrated from Mexico. Immigration, on the other hand, is a process by which individuals or groups move in to another country for settlement. Take note of the phrase, move into. We're going to use the same example to show the contrast. Now we can say that Maria's family immigrated to Canada. Still not getting clearly? Here's the tip. Emigration, always remember, living from or departing from. While immigration is moving to or moving into. Just like the next picture that you will see. That would be all for now, ladies and gentlemen. Till next time. Bye!